Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I am starting my very first Halloween makeup tutorial and I'm so, so damn excited. I have a new background going on. I got my whole Halloween theme happening. I am so, so excited. So from the title you probably already know what I will be doing today so let's just get straight into it. Okay guys so we're going to start out with primer. This one is just going to be really good at smoothing out my skin. I'm then just going to go in with a NYX eyebrow marker and I'm going to start marking out where I want to kind of have my face separated with the two looks that I'll be doing today. Going in with the Meron white face paint, I'm just going to start putting this all over on the cracked doll side and I'm not making it too perfect. I kind of want it to be a little bit gross and a little bit patchy looking to make it look like I look really old. Going in on the other side, I'm just going in with a really pale foundation. This one's from Maybelline and I'm just going to start dotting that in. I wanted a pale face, but I didn't want it to be like white. Going in, setting both sides with translucent powder. And then I kind of realized that I kind of stuffed up and I was meant to put concealer on. So here I am removing that section, applying some concealer, and then I'm going to reset everything. Starting on the cracked doll side, I'm going to start lining out where I'm going to be putting the cracks. Now, I'm not making anything perfect at the moment. This is just the outline and I'm using like a gray brown kind of eyeshadow, which I stop using halfway through because I hate the tone of it. Going in with some black body paint and also a really fine detailed brush. This is where I start outlining the cracks a little bit more, making them a whole lot more defined. And I will be making them a lot thicker in some certain areas as well. Going in with a black eyeliner that is slowly running out, I'm going to start filling in my brows. Not perfect. I'm going to make them quite patchy and just a little bit funny looking, but enough to know that they're filled in. And then I'm going to start creating some hair-like strokes just to make them seem a little bit more bushy on the front. Going in with that same brownie gray shadow that I used to create the cracks, I'm going to start putting that on my eyelid and I'm making it very messy and grungy looking. I am not making this clean. I'm then just going to take a really dense brush and I'm going to start making my eyes look a whole lot more round and packing on that color a little bit more and not really blending it out too much. Now this is where I kind of stuffed up. I'm just putting some white eyeliner underneath my eyes to make them appear a lot bigger, but I stuff it up so you will notice that it is a lot thicker as the video goes through because I do go back in and fix it up. Going in with some black eyeliner, I'm just going to give myself a wing. Starting to put some mascara on, I'm going to put this on my bottom and top lashes and then I'm going to apply some false lashes. These ones are from EXO Beauty. Now I'm just going to start shading all the cracks. Now once again, I start using that brownie grey shade and honestly, I hated the tone of it. So I do move on to a more grey toned um, shade in a minute. But I noticed when I was doing this, it started to lift up the face paint, which I actually didn't mind. It kind of made me look a little bit more dirty and yucky looking. So I didn't really have a problem with that. I'm now just going to get some white body paint. I'm going to start adding some highlights to the cracks just to make them stand out a little bit more. The cracks didn't really turn out how I wanted, but I'm still quite happy with them. Going in with some hot pink lipstick. This one's just from BH Cosmetics and I'm just going to obviously do half of my lips and I'm going to make sure that I make them quite defined and also over draw them a little bit. 
Moving on to the pop art side, I'm just going to take a peachy toned eyeshadow, eyeshadow, wow, and I'm just going to start putting that all through my crease, and then I'm going to take a color that is slightly darker and also pop that through my crease once again. Also, I am not being too neat as I just don't really mind if it's messy. Um, I'm then just going to go in with a matte white eyeshadow just to kind of brighten up my eye a little bit. And then I'm going to go in and do a really nice winged liner. I'm going to make sure that the winged liner is also quite rounded on the top of my lid just to keep that rounded kind of look going on as well. Now this is where I start adding in the expression lines and stuff like that and wait for it. Oh my god. Honestly, I wanted to cry. So I did remove all of that and start all over again. So I just started on some easier parts with the expression lines and just kind of went from there. Now you can add your expression lines anywhere you wanted. This is just where I wanted to do mine. And as I go through, I do start to thicken them up a little bit. Now I'm just going to start going around the perimeter of my face just to obviously make that a whole lot more prominent and I'm going to make this line quite thick as well. This was honestly so nerve-wracking. Um, I'm going to start with my eyebrows now. So I'm going back in with that black body paint and I'm going to make my eyes, my eyes, my eyebrows really edgy and really sharp. And I'm going to block them out and then I'm going to start filling them in with the black body paint as well. Now I'm going to do my eyeliner on my lower lash line. So basically I'm doing a wing that is upside down and I cannot tell you the stress that I had going on while trying to do this. Do not do this. Oh my god. I'm then just going to add some highlights to a couple of the expression lines and then we're going to move on. I'm just going to pop some mascara on and while my lashes are drying, I'm just going to move on to the next step. I'm going to get some red body paint and I'm going to use the bottom of a makeup brush. So this is really easy. You can do this at home. And I'm just going to do those pop art dots that we see all the time. But instead of doing them all over my face, I just wanted to put them in one area, which was going down my cheek. I'm then just going to pop some red lipstick on. Once again, this is from BH Cosmetics. And when I start doing the tops of my lips, I wanted them to be quite rounded, not so pointy and defined. Applying some highlights to the top and bottom of my lip as well. I'm then just going to start outlining my lips with that black body paint so on the top and bottom as well. This was so shaky, like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm then just going to also start outlining where my pop art face meets my cracked doll face just so there is a little bit of definition going on and it's just kind of what looked a little bit better. I was going to leave it but then I was like, mm, nah, got to do it. <laughs> Now with the cracked doll face, I was looking at how pale I was looking and I didn't look dirty enough. So I went in with a gray eyeshadow and I made sure that I looked a little bit more dirty and a little bit more old looking. So I just kind of popped that gray eyeshadow majority of my face. Thanks so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed 2018's first Halloween tutorial and I will see you in my next one.